Hi, Jemima. Hi, Trini and Annie. <sighs> this is fun. I mean, the rails are growing and we're now looking today at Softly Feminine. Oh, that's what this is. What's okay. your idea, Jemima, Softly Feminine? I always think of pastel colours and kind of more little girly stuff, but yeah. I know that's not you. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how you tell the story. There's definitely a palette, which is those lovely soft shades. And the prints as well, the Dizzy prints are nice with the metallics yeah. coming through. And small prints. Yeah. I think mm. big floral prints isn't softly feminine. There's a delicacy when we say softly feminine. Yes. And less abstract. Less abstract. It's about the sleeve, it's about lace, bordery anglaise, it's about sh sort of soft chiffon. There's that there too, yes, it's Annie's favourite dress. <laughs> um, and it's about your waist as well. I think quite a few of the things, it's about showing a softly feminine shape. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to start with shoes. Oh, you want to scan closely along and see all these shoes, which probably the Closet Confessions fans have never seen before. These shoes are all from different decades, but I've got to tell you that if I walked into Prada now, you would have a kitten heel with a long front. And when Ralph Simmons did a collection, I think last year, this is what he took out the archive. And this is the original, yeah. which I bought for Lila's christening. So it's 19 years old. Wow. That is to me, such a good classic feminine, yes. softly feminine. This is a take on Roger Vivier, which Zara have in been inspired by, literally to the squareness of what they always <laughs> put on the front of their shoes. Very inspired. Um, I think Rattan. Yeah. is something for Softly Feminine. A very old Chloe shoe, um, which I really looked after and I love, and I have it in burgundy as well. And this is literally about 22 years old. I do those heavy brogues, you lovely Softly Feminine ladies always say, Trini, why do you have to wear those shoes? And I want you to know I have these two and I'm gonna wear them more. I think when you do a wedge and you're Softly Feminine, the wedge must be very delicate. Mm. This is actually about 20 year olds Prada, but that is, you know, something that probably will come out again in two years' time. Timeless. Mm. Timeless. Mm. So we've shoes always can... loved metallics. Yes, we've always loved metallics. This is very tottery. Stella McCartney did these, and I had them in navy as well. That's quite chunky for a softly feminine, but if you have a chunkier calf, you need a bit more solidness at the bottom of your foot. Like, for me, the kidney heel is really tricky to do. So that, for me, is my softly feminine. Mm -hmm. This verges on the softly feminine inspiration from the 1940s. This is that modern interpretation of it, and I like the fact that it's in a print. Then my Claire Jury, if they're in a soft colour, I still think I could do for softly feminine. Those okay. are the shoes. So Can you take us through your outfit, I'm going to take you through my outfit. First, before I do that, I'm going to take you through my makeup. I think it's really important, the makeup for softly feminine, because I don't yeah, see there's hard red lips there. I think everything is a palette like this, Jemima. A bit of Cordy, a bit of Dido, a bit of wigs, a little bit yeah. of Maddie, and then neutral colours. We've got a bit of virtue and fortune here. There's a femininity to the makeup, and the blusher is soft and really where how, like it's a little bit you, higher. We'd say a little, a little bit, bit higher, higher. so yeah. it's less on the apples of the cheek and more brought up, just so it's more fresh and just to lift everything up. And yes. the skin yeah. is everything as well. Yeah. So this is definitely a look where you have that glow, that gentle glow. So we've got that today by putting candlelight um, highlighter underneath the makeup, mm. which is John's trick I learned from him, and then de-stress over. What I like in this look, which is interesting, is John has put my brows up quite a lot. And I think we're always wondering, how do you make makeup feel modern? Mm -hmm. And one thing is brows and how strong they are. And sometimes for some people, they might look and think that feels too strong. But what it does when you're a certain age is it will lift your face. So if you, you know, John's always doing this with me because he's lifting my eye by doing that. And if that's down, you see the difference compared yeah. to when we gently just lift it up. Yeah, it's like the tiniest trick it's and it a has a great trick, impact. But it really helps. And also as well, if you notice in the shadow, the shadow plays a big part. This is wisdom as a base. And what I've done is I've lifted it up just higher than the crease, but I've used a little bit of concealer just to wipe away, which also lifts on the, the back eye. end of mm. talking to the brows, it lifts the eye. So everything is going upwards, including the blusher, shadow and brows, yeah. and also yeah. your lashes, the corner lashes to bring everything upwards and outwards. Quick thing too on hair. I always wonder, can you be softly feminine with short cropped hair? You can. You can be softly feminine and have no hair. But if you have hair and your hair is longer, I think having a little bend in it makes it more softly feminine than if it's dead straight. It's a bit more angelic, isn't it? It's a little bit more. And for the look we're going for, 
you've just used a little gentle tonguing. Very, very soft. Very gentle. Very gentle. In a way, it's much nicer when it's dropping as well. Yeah, and it's it's Thank not you. too um, obviously curly. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. As time going to go, it's going to get softer and softer yeah. as well. So, this is that softly feminine in every way because the shirt has the balloon, it has the lovely applique, it feels like it's lace. This is Zimmerman. And I like the way the trousers are high waisted, so I can wear the top lower, but because it's a bit sheer, you still don't feel my legs start there because it's not a block thickness. You see that my legs go up to here. And then a very, very, very old, very elegant little Bottega. And the beauty of this platform, the wedge, is that when I put the trousers down, because it's so narrow, it will actually fit over, it won't do that, because all my other Robert Leisure would do that, mm -hmm. but this will drop over, and that's a key component, is the flow in Softly Feminine. Nothing breaks harshly. Mm. Can I um, ask yeah. about the um, top tunny? Yes. Did it come like that, or did you have it... Strategically paced yes. uh, covers. No, they came like that, Ooh. so that was clever of them to think about that. And then <laughs> top it off, if I was going to work in this, I might just then just do a gilet over and it would just still keep that line going. It has an opportunity for the sleeve to flow. I would nearly add some pearls, but I won't for now. And then Where's the gilet it. from? The gilet is Zara. I've gone into my grandmother's closet <laughs> to show the softly delicate feminine jewelry. I was thinking, first of all, I would do that as an earring. Uh -huh. And then I was thinking, no, let me make it smaller. But then I do feel it's about those sort of heritage moments and I think I'm going to go even smaller and do that real delicate earring of my great grandmother like that. Oh, and then if I was going to do a ring, it might be something really small, you know, just like a little heirloom. <laughs> Like that. Just a little Ellie. That's just beautiful. And I love that tiny bit of colour. Mm. Tiny bit of colour, Jemima. Before I build up this dress, I'm just going to show you how many dresses come with slips underneath. And I've just got a white slip under this, but you can clearly see where it is underneath my skin. Yeah. And a trick I've always done is to remove these and to get a slip which I've had made the colour of my skin tone, but you can buy them in different high street shops like M&S and how much of a difference it will make to the dress. So this is literally um, a piece of fabric that Estrizana got and it's called mesh fabric but it is a dream because now you've got the dress just seamlessly and also covering modesty. It feels a bit see-through but everything is covered. Yeah you can't even see the slip. No. And what, the flow is there. What would you say for women who don't feel confident to maybe wear so many holes in their well, I think this is a great way of wearing so many holes because you know you've got something underneath which is supporting you. And you could have a thicker bit of fabric which is your skin tone and it would have the same effect. And you could have a tight one to hold everything in like a Spanx. But then you'd see the crutch. So you do need that fabric over which isn't the outline of your leg. Okay, got it. Okay. Now let me show you the whole outfit styled up. If you have high cheekbones, which I do, but you have a low indent here, if you wear hats like that, it puts the shadow on your eye, under your eye. So if you're doing softly feminine and you're going to the races or something, think about where you position hats so it perfectly frames your face. This hat now I'm wearing backwards, you know, on the back of my head like a little teenager, but I think I can wear it because the sophistication of the earring works well with it. It fills in the length of my neck and also it echoes the detail on the broderie anglaise in the earring. So you've got the pearl detail, but in a way the pattern is, is replicated. Mm -hmm. I've got a little wedgie in belt because I want to really enhance that femininity of the figure. And then I've got a little shoe which has some nod to the lace as well in its detail of the cutout. And do you think the belt, like the texture of the belt, makes it harder so it's not as pretty of an outfit? Maybe. I wouldn't have minded a less fussy belt. Like, ideally, I kind of would like... Jemima, that I wouldn't have this here. It okay. would just be like that. Could you tie it, it at the back? back? I could tie it at the back. Let's tie <laughs> it at the back. And where did you get your earrings from? I got them from India when I was ah. at my nephew's wedding, and um, I bought them. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a completely so, different yeah. look. There. And I think it's less fussy. Yeah. So it's amazing how you tweak details. What I realise actually, and Annie says this. The leather at the front is quite modern, but not in a bow, but double knotted. Oh, and it brings it down the dress. It brings it down the dress. Clever, Annie. Tiny details. This is about 
satin, softly feminine texture. Mm -hmm. It's about a really beautiful big sleeve. It's about very soft tendrils. The word tendrils and softly feminine sit well together. So just so gently putting your hair back that I've literally taken a curvy grip and I've just taken a bit of my hair and I've done a twist and turned it round. So it's very effortless and just make sure that you might tong it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's one ring, the colours go well together. This is all Velma's wife. And, and is it a two-piece? It's a two-piece, and I wasn't sure about it, Jemima. I haven't worn it as a two-piece that much. And then I got my really old Prada shoes. And what's great about these shoes for me is that because I've got a broad skirt base, and then I've got a detail going down from my ankle through to the front of my foot, I'm not cutting off my leg. Okay, and who else can wear this print? I think it's a small print. I don't think it's going to wear many people, unless you're somebody who doesn't suit print. But it's literally a sprig of a flower as opposed to the full bloom. Mm. And for me, I prefer a sprig as opposed to a full blossom, because okay. a full blossom wears me. Yeah, and I think last time we showed this, I think we did wedding looks. And I do think we it's did, a great wedding we? look. It is a very wedding look with a hat. Mm. And then my um, ring is from Leg and Brain, and I have mm. lots of these. And um, they hardly fit me anymore because they were so tight, but I've managed to, I don't know, I think soap and water is going to take this off. <laughs> so just before I move on, the makeup I did for the last look was about introducing a deeper lip. And it's especially relevant. We actually put strength eye to eye mixed with anything. Munchkin. Munchkin oh, on the wow. lip to get this colour. Mm -hmm. They're cream based, so you can kind of nearly <laughs> use them everywhere. I wouldn't say that that's what you should be doing is using the eye on the lip, but that's what we did. And then I was thinking how I'd wear this, which is an incredibly soft and feminine dress. Mm -hmm. But the colour is bad on me. But with this lip, it will allow me to wear it. And I'm just going to add some texture to make the final look. I do feel really softly feminine in this. And I bought it because it felt feminine for me, but modern. And it was a mixture of the abstractness of the swirl of the gentle print. It's GMB Stavali. But when I wore it, it was so washing out. So adding the soft pink here, which is the Zara blouse, and having that peek through again in what was a cut out sleeve. And then the darker lip really helps it. I've got really old cost trousers on to just add that softness. And then that little Zara rattan shoe. So I feel so elegant. Mm. And softly feminine. What would you say for women who are afraid to layer if, in case it's a bit bulky? I think there's layering with heavy fabrics and there's layering with silk upon silk. And this is silk upon silk, so this could be a V layering. And if you have a soft silk shirt and you layer a silk dress over the top, you're not adding bulk to the shape. So it's a great way to layer when you're more curvy and you want to still have that flow of fabric. Okay. And accessories? And I liked that earring because the mm. detail had the depth of tone there and it had the blush effect here. I think the earrings and the dress both have that sort of colouring where you don't know exactly what colour it is when you first see exactly it. Exactly right. And it's like... It's sort of oyster meets blush meets something else. And it yeah. reflects your hair, like the brownness of the earring yeah. and then it, the dress. Bringing it all together and then we add on my ASOS coat mm -hmm. like that and then the old Celine bag which is off white and there's my look. Oh. So you've come slightly off-white just so it's not too yeah. bright? Yeah. For me, this makes me do softer things when I wear these oystery colours. Let's talk accessories. I could wear this dress by itself um, with something more modern so that it would give life to my face, um, especially if I'm not doing a strong lip. But there's something about the femininity and simplicity of the neckline, which I don't want to ruin, perhaps. Then could my cuff be better? and then I'm topping and tailing with that silver. But you've just kept this really, it's like, what is this? It's not silk, it's organza. Mm. It's, a, it's a double organza. And how do you feel about wearing it without any layers compared to your last look? It's just a dress now, so I'm wearing it as a dress. <laughs> do I prefer it this way? I've, first time I've worn it where I've really loved it. And I think because I've got the deep lip, it's helped me to carry the dress off. And then I found those shoes again. And in fact, mm. it's the first shoe I've tried on with it, which works really well because it needs a closed toe. Also, so nice for women if they are self-conscious about their arms. You yeah, know, this of... is a very good slit to think about for arms because there's many tops that have that little slit at the front. So it shows skin without showing the underbelly of the mm. arm, which for some people is not the bit they want to show so much. That's it for Closet Confessions. And I thought, Jemima, we should go the other end of the scale. Ooh. What do you think the other end of the scale is? I'm going to say eclectic. No, I'm going to say minimalist. <laughs> the antithesis of softly feminine. 
So see you next week. Thank you. Bye.